Unfortunately for so many people, when they think about having a pure heart, they think that means I will never have a bad feeling or I will never be a warrior. I will never um, be a magician working with factors. It's, and it's just, let's say it together, it's not true. <laughs> it's not true. Because to be in the position of um, holiness, one has to allow the capacities to be filled with the blessing and glory that's coming into this human experience. Yesterday I had a patient who I've known for a number of years, but I don't see her very often. She's quite young. Well, I should probably 30, quite young for, um, in my scale of life. But she is, um, she's been in prison. She's been in jail, which are different, in case you don't know the difference. Um, she's been beaten severely. She has massive depression. She has a child from being um, raped by one of the men who beat her. And the child is biracial, which really disturbs her because she doesn't want her child to be judged. And there she is, like, sitting at my table just because she has back pain. And I'm just feeling like, what are the words from on high that bring her, her new story? Where she sees she's a glorious representation of love on earth when she's feeling like nothing, she can't figure anything out. She's afraid for her child that she'll be raising her with a depressed mother. She's been taking medication and the medication made her hallucinate, so she's lost that option. And you know, the, um, the thing that just kept coming to me and I was finding a way to say it to her is, love, serve, and remember. Love your daughter, serve your world, and remember. You're not here by accident. There's so much happening in the world that shows how humanity can't um, function in a holy way. I was at my, um, in the book club that I'm at where we were talking about Palestine and Israel, and you know, I've been thinking about Ukraine and Russia as the Olympics started yesterday and you saw the countries going through and I'm just thinking about from the human standpoint, that it is totally unresolvable. And if you in fact believe we are all made in a flawed way, there's no way we could ascend to a higher place. It's like, did God really screw up and we're all just dysfunctional and it's just all going to go to hell in a handbasket? I know that's not true. But what is the solution or what is the vision? What is the possibility? It's only when we're in a high place. Where we, I wrote a list, but the, here's what we see there. The beauty of all people. The unity of one humanity. The strength of what happens when people come together, knowing the holiness and power of each other. And so often we have a, a huge judgment that my heart isn't pure enough to be able to look, climb the hill of the Lord. Look up. Let the fire fall. Let the blessings be present. And let your presence be an invitation to love, serve, and remember. To allow the holiness that is your nature to um, slide right in. And let it, uh, let it allow your vision to return to what actually humanity is designed for. <laughs>